Hi, and welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on ordering numbers. In this video, we're going to look at how to order numbers, either from smallest to largest or from largest to smallest. Our first question says, arrange an order from smallest to largest, 163, 316, 361, and 186. Now, to order numbers, what we first of all do is we consider the size of the numbers. In other words, these have all got hundreds, tens, and units. Hundreds, tens, units. Hundreds, tens, and units hundreds, tens, and units. And that'll help us see which number is the biggest. So when we look at the hundreds column, we can see that this number has got a one in it. So it's 100, three, three, and one. In other words, this one and this one have got the smallest number in the hundreds column, the 163 and the 186. Now we're looking for the smallest number. Now, because they've both got a one in the hundreds column, we're gonna have to move across to the tens column. This number has got a six in the tens column, whereas this number has got an eight in the tens column. So 163 will be smaller than 186. So the smallest number is 163. The next number will be 186. Now let's look at the other numbers. They've both got threes in the hundreds column, so they're both 300 and something. Now if we move across to tens column, this one has got a one in it, whereas this one's got a six in it. So 316 will be smaller than 361. So 316 and 361 is the largest, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So this question says, again, arrange an order from smallest to largest, 701, 1071, 710, 107 and 170. So again, let's just have a look at this. Uh, let's consider the place value column. So hundreds, tens, units, thousands, hundreds, tens, units, hundreds, tens, units, hundreds, tens, and units, hundreds, tens, and units. So if we look at these numbers, we can see that clearly this one is going to be the biggest because it's got thousands, whereas all the rest of them have only got hundreds. So that means that they will be smaller than 1071. So let's start off by looking for the smallest number. So we're looking for the number with the smallest value in the hundreds column. So we've got this number and this number have both got ones in the hundreds column. So we've got 107 and 170. Now let's move across to the tens column. We can see this number has got a zero in it, whereas this one's got a seven. So that means that 107 will be smaller than 100. So the smallest number is 107, then it's 170. Now let's look at the other numbers. We've got a 7 in the hundreds column, and we've got a 7 in the hundreds column. So we're going to have to look at the tens. So this one's got a 0, and this one's got a 1. So one, a 701 is smaller than 710. So it's 701 and 710. And then finally, the biggest number is the number with the thousands in the, or the one in the thousands column, or thousands column. So that's 1,071 is the largest number, and that's it. And finally, let's have a look at a bit, a bit of a harder question now. So this question says, arrange an order from largest to smallest, and we've got these numbers here. 18,234, 18,300, 18,043, 18,403, 18,243, and we've been asked to arrange them in order from smallest to largest. Now, if we look at them all, they've all got 18,000, 18,000, 18,000, 18,000, 18,000, 18,000. So that's not actually gonna help us sort of distinguish which one's the biggest and the smallest and so on. So we're gonna have to then look at the hundreds column. So this one's got a two in the hundreds column, a three, a zero, a four, and a two. Actually, we can actually, I think, arrange them in order based on that. So the largest number will be 18,403. So 18,403. The next biggest number will be 18,300 because it's got the next biggest number in the hundreds column. Uh, oh, actually, we've got two numbers which have got twos in the hundreds column. So we've got 18,234 and 18,243. So we will have to look at the tens column, the next column. This one's got a three, whereas this one's got a four. So this number is bigger. So it'll be 18,000. 243 and then 18,234 and the smallest value is this one because it has it got zero in the hundreds column so that is 18,000 and 43 and that's it so when you're asked to order numbers you just compare them look at the size you look and see you know have any of the numbers got any digits in the thousands and then the hundreds and then the t uh, tens and units and just compare the size of them and you know just make sure you're aware of whether you go from smallest to largest or from largest to smallest